Hi friends, welcome to Canada Tried and Tested. Recently, I had applied for Overseas Citizen of India card for my daughter who is Canada born. And as you can see, this is the OCI card. So in today's video, I will be showing you what all documents were uploaded uh, online, what documents were sent offline along with the application form, what was the fee and I will also be showing you the filled application form and I will be doing a running commentary so that you know the logic behind every document which was uploaded. So do watch this video till the end and uh, to make it easy for you, I have shared all the relevant links in the description. So do check out that. In case you are new subscriber, you have come to my channel for the first time, please go ahead and press the subscription button as well as do check out my website canadatriedandtested.com where I have documented every learning I have had as a new immigrant in Canada and I am sure this will be useful for you. So without wasting much time, let me begin. When I started with this application process, uh, I reached out to Indian friends on social media to know their experience of getting this OCI card and majority of them did not have a great experience. They said that even for small mistake, the document is sent back and it is not just the waste of time because of the turnaround time. Every time the document gets sent, you incur additional expense. So I called the agency BLS International. They are the partner agency. They collect uh, the documents uh, on behalf of uh, Indian High Commission uh, from the applicant. They process it and then they send the document back uh, either the OCI card or in case there are any queries. So I called their call center and I had to speak to seven different uh, representative and every time I would find uh, you know different version. So that was confusing and I can understand the frustration what uh, our friends uh, on social media had. But there was one person uh, towards the last who spoke to me and he spoke to me logically. So the process is very simple as I said at start. It's just that uh, we are doing this for the first time. So we don't know what documents has to go, uh, what documents does not have to go. So this actually gave me a clarity on what all documents are required. So I'll show this on screen. So to apply for OCI from Canada, the agency is BLS International Services Canada. They are the outsource agency for High Commission and Consulate General of India. So I had to fill the application, send it to them and then they process it with the Consulate General of India in my case because I was in Toronto and how to know which uh, location you have to send. Once we come down, uh, it shows the jurisdiction and based on your location where the application center is. Like I am in Ontario and I chose Brampton which is the nearest location. So what are the documents which I uploaded online and offline? Let me show that to you. When it comes to the online document which was uploaded, current passport, this is my daughter's Canada passport, the photo page only. Indian origin proof for this uh, both our passport, we both uh, are Indian citizen. So we uploaded our passports first and last page. So this had to be made into one PDF. So there is only uh, one upload button. Uh, what I did was I uh, took this uh, JPEG file onto my uh, Word document and then there is an option where you can save the Word document as PDF. I did that and it worked fine uh, for me. Both parents landing paper, PR and COPR, again uh, same way it was converted into PDF and uploaded. Relationship certificate, birth certificate of uh, the applicant that is my daughter's uh, birth certificate and the long form birth certificate. If you have watched the uh, birth certificate video which I had posted earlier you will get to know what this long form birth certificate is. Uh, in our case, both the certificate had parents name mentioned. So uh, again, this was uploaded uh, as PDF and marriage certificate of parents. Since uh, our passport had both our name as spouse, we uploaded the same document here. 
so we did not have to submit the marriage certificate in case you don't have that then you can go and check what are the documents which you can upload coming to the physical copy application form which i will also show you how that uh, uh, was filled child's photo now for the photo if you want to know the specification it's a standard uh, india passport specification that is one current photograph of size 51 mm by 51 mm so when we got uh, our daughter's uh, canada uh, passport photo taken we asked walmart to make one of this size so same photograph was made in this dimension and they are professional so they know uh, what all are required current passport of my daughter the photocopy here uh, only first page was uh, taken as photocopy and both of us uh, put our signature indian origin passport this is uh, both our passport which was uploaded here same thing was taken as print out and we both self attested that also both parents uh, landing paper pr and copr again it was self attested relationship certificate the birth certificate which was uploaded here same thing was taken as print out and self attested by both of us marriage certificate of parent what was uploaded here same thing was taken as print out and then again it was self attested by both of us address proof here i had submitted my ontario driving license which had uh, the present address mentioned and that took care of uh, this part so again it was self attested and then there was a no objection certificate you can see this link all the links are given in description so it will be easy for you to navigate so uh, here on the no objection certificate applicant's name was my daughter's name and we both signed this no objection letter it's very simple and straightforward demand draft the consulate general of india toronto 345 dollar demand draft and for the bls international services canada inc 7 dollar 40 cent and this is the table where this chart is given the amount payable to cji toronto uh, slash hci ottawa for the ontario region and amount payable to bls international service canada inc you can see 341 dollar plus consulate surcharge 4 dollar that is 345 and for the bls 7 dollar 40 cent now they also uh, have a courier fee charge which i will talk about uh, this later as we proceed with the video uh, it is required toward the end and here also you have few options i also created a checklist which was handmade and basically i had listed that i am sending these documents uh, it was one way of uh, reassuring that i am doing everything right and the person who would receive the document would know that the uh, packet has all this document now if you want to go and check the checklist here in the forms and checklist you see here they have this uh, checklist and it's a long list if you want you can go and check this again it is given in the link so let me take you quickly to the online application form and show you how that gets filled so this is the government's website ocservices.gov.in and uh, once we come down click here to proceed and then you can read this at your own time proceed instruction for filling application form it has to be in block letters uh, blah 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 you can go and read this okay so i come down i have read the instruction and accept enter the captcha and then we come to this page where you have fill new application in case you have started with the application you have 5 days to complete and you can come to this uh, button to retrieve that and start from where you left i'll go to fill new application and here let me open this as well as this so place of submission it will be canada and mission there are three location in my case it was toronto then 
entered daughter's surname, given name, sex, date of birth, country of birth, place of birth, current nationality and then visible mark. So for the national identification number, you don't see the asterisk. So I left this blank and all other details were matching with her passport details. So whatever was given in the passport, same thing was entered here. Coming to the applicant's passport detail, again passport number, date of issue, date of expiry, place of issue and there is no previous passport number because she is newborn. So that detail was entered and for the family detail, father's name, nationality, I am Indian, father's profession, this is the drop down, you can choose whichever is the closest for you. I'll show what I filled in my application. Mother's name, mother's nationality, mother's profession and relation with the root Indian. So again, this is a drop down button and here I'll show you on the field form what I chose. So these are the option. Okay. So I will not be going through this form. Instead, I will open the field form. So the photograph which was taken that was uploaded as a digital file and that comes here the specification 51 mm by 51 and then there is a thumb impression since uh, it's a newborn there is no signature the thumb impression has to be uh, taken based on the gender like i'll let me show that to you left hand thumb impression for boys and right hand thumb impression for girls so in our daughter's case it was right hand thumb impression. So on a plain piece of paper her uh, right hand thumb impression was taken and this is a, a game of patience with newborn. So uh, have patience to take this. Uh, you may have to attempt four or five times and then see which one is the best one and you can upload that. Again after you take the printout there is one more place where you will have to take the thumb impression and for that the tip is if you are taking printout have four to five copies of that particular page so that you can choose the best of page which has the thumb impression. Coming to the personal particular as in passport uh, this is no brainer whatever is given as surname given name there is no previous name for the newborn gender date of birth place of birth visible distinguishing mark, present nationality, whether holding dual nationality it will be no, previous nationality of applicant not applicable. So all this detail comes directly from the Canada passport. So again just make sure that there is no mistake coming to family detail. Family detail, father's name, father's nationality, father's occupation. Uh, in my case, uh, it's professional, whatever is your case, you have to choose that. And again, mother's name, mother's nationality, mother's occupation, private sector. So you choose whatever it is. Relationship with the root Indian. I had shown you the online form there. Um, I chose father and then the passport detail straight out of her Canada passport. So just ensure that I'm making no mistake in the entry. Applicants contact detail. You remember uh, I had submitted my driver's license uh, which had the present uh, address I mentioned. So uh, ensure that present address uh, is written in the same format. Then phone number, email ID and mobile number is no brainer. The uploaded document as I was uploading the document it gets here. So let me go quickly one by one. Current passport that is Canada passport of my daughter. Current Indian passport of parents uh, which was uploaded as PDF. Indian visa here it was PR and COPR. Relationship certificate, uh, baby's birth certificate and the long form. And marriage certificate again same Indian passport was uploaded here. So this is how this form was completed. Let me go down coming to part B 1 to 6 the response is no in our case in case you have yes then uh, you can go and read this 
uh, it will invite further scrutiny. Coming to point number six, it asks uh, date and method of acquisition of present nationality. So in uh, my daughter's case, it is by birth and her date of birth is the acquisition date. Okay, coming to point seven and further. Point seven, details of family member here. Uh, my daughter's grandparents uh, detail was entered and their India address relationship as grandfather, grandmother and their age. So again very simple point 8 to 14 our response were no in case you have any uh, yes then again it will invite scrutiny. So just take a pause and you can read this point 15 this is related to the criminal proceeding so for the newborn there is no no criminal proceeding not applicable and then we move to further points point 16 again our responses were no you can read and you can see what your response is so this is the declaration page and this page when you are taking printout take four to five printout the name of the applicant uh, here is my daughter's name then date place mr saga ontario signature of the applicant here it is the thumb impression which we took of our daughter so we had uh, four copies and we chose the best of thumb impression to send it to uh, the bls and uh, coming to application for minor child here i am a parent of my daughter's name date place and we both signed in this signature of applicants uh, space and that's how this application was filled if we go to page four five six these are instructions okay so i will just roll over you can take a pause and read and uh, that's it um, this is how the form was filled now coming to sending this document since i had sent this application uh, through post and not uh, physically they had this three option pick up and drop off pick up or just drop off so in pick up and drop off once you do the payment you are given a time slot and uh, for the pick up and drop off uh, services uh, additional 70 plus dollars are charged and uh, at the designated time pure later which is the partner with bls international they come and they will pick the document from you and send it to bls so uh, and when the documents are processed it is sent back to you at your home address so uh, the this is the first option the second option is pick up only and the third option is drop off only so i chose uh, with bls international drop off only and i paid uh, 35 plus dollar uh, as the fee and uh, once my application was ready i went to the nearest uh, pure later office and directly submitted the document uh, the reason why i did was that i did not want to have a time bomb uh, of completing the application and uh, i in case filled the application early i did not want to wait for this pickup service uh, to happen so since uh, the pure later service was near to my place i just walked across and dropped the document to bls address so this is the bls address where i sent uh, once the document reached bls the process started and to track the application this is the page here in the submission type in case you are going for walk-in application now that walk-in uh, is also open i heard you can check but i was comfortable doing a postal application so you can choose whatever method you have done say postal and then you get to enter the detail oci application passport number we entered uh, our daughter's canada passport number and then once the captcha was entered it was showing us the uh, applications uh, latest progress so i just waited for six weeks because i knew that in current circumstances uh, it's going to take time 
and uh, I got this OCI card after six weeks. Okay, friends, you saw this is very simple process and getting the OCI card is not at all difficult. You just need to provide right information, fill the application correctly and then just wait for the process to happen. I hope this uh, video is uh, informative and valuable for you. Do like, comment and share with uh, your uh, Indian friends so that they know how to go about doing this in a very logical way. Thanks for watching Canada Tried and Tested.